Amen. Someone said, God's required response first begin with report. You never go on the field or preach up a storm and keep it for yourself. Let's put it on your own little Facebook. And you ain't sending a report to the church yet. Having a good time. That's pride. Come on. I thought Bishop was going to be happy, go looking, but you know, just be sweet here. No, 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 no. Hey! The first response to a move of God for him to have maximum impact. I have to put it on your little you Facebook that three people look at. Come on, somebody. And every time you like it, the same three people like you. Know? Are you with me? You got to report to headquarters and don't be prideful. Send it so you can benefit others worldwide. There's so many looking, looking, waiting. Every new post waiting. When I see one, they say, hey, we are in Nigeria, and we're getting ready to. That's what went on. Folks said, oh, when they see one report, they said, is there anybody in Texas can come with me? That's what they said when they see the report. I want to go to, is there anybody in Texas who will come with me? Anybody? You got a report. That's why we got the Bible. That's God's report. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody here. So you got to report. If you're not really reported, report. Come on, somebody here. Humble yourself. Don't take it for yourself. Don't be like Gehazi. Come on. Who take the revelation for himself and go earn off it. Come on, somebody. And get some fame off it. Well, because they are preaching, but it's about me. No, it's not about you. Report. I'm going to tell you, any time God raised you up, you always watch a pride. You always watch for pride. When you get a little attention, you watch for pride. You could be as powerful with pride, you go down. You ain't saying amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Number two. Get ready for this now. Stand up on your feet. You can't handle this on your sitting down. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get. Come on. I, to, I remember I warn you. You can't handle this one sitting down. I warn you. Come on. You sit down, you're going to get in trouble right now. Number two, rejoice. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> no. Now you're behaving modest. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Like it was rolling on the ground on Saturday evening. Come on, somebody. Come on. The Bible said in Psalm 126, verse 5 and 6, when you go out planting precious seed, you shall no doubt come back with joy, rejoicing. Come on. Somebody begin to rejoice. Just give him praise and give him glory. Oh, the Bible says, heaven rejoice over one soul. What about earth? Let's rejoice. Hallelujah. 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 Rejoice in the Lord. Always again, I say, rejoice. Oh, come on, come on, America, rejoice! Come on, world, rejoice! Come on, Ghana, rejoice! Come on, Africa, rejoice! Come on, China, rejoice! Come on, Jamaica, rejoice! Come on, Georgia, rejoice! Come on, Chile, rejoice. Come on, Suriname, rejoice. Come on, Guyana, rejoice. Come on, Haiti, rejoice. Come on, UK, rejoice. Come on, Greece, rejoice. Come on, South Africa, rejoice. Come on, come on, rejoice. Come on, Namibia, rejoice. Come on, Botswana, rejoice. Come on, rejoice. Ah! Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord always. 
Hallelujah. Sit down in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Jesus. Some of the God's response to world vision day. Number three, you got to sit for this one. You don't dare stand. Come on, somebody. Reflect. Reflect. No matter how well we think we did, reflect. Look back where we went wrong. Look back where we overdid. Look back where we were slow. Look back where we moved too quick. Look back where we were too impulsive. Look back. Come on, somebody. This is the weakness in the body of Christ. We're so holy and so spiritual that we don't reflect. Can I tell you a secret? Come on. Can I tell you? But don't tell nobody this one. This one, you have to keep this one. A prophet never miss. Never miss. Never miss. But most people think that is because he's powerful. Why he never miss? <laughs> so, whoa, he hears God. Don't, let me tell the man why he don't miss. He don't take chance with something he's not sure. So you want ten prophecy, he got two. You say, what happened to the eight? No, the eight, maybe from God, but he's not sure. And why not sure? You don't say God say. You leave it. Some time after you find out that it could well work. Come on, but what if you prophesied and it never work? Hmm? Reflect. You check it out. You get back. You fix. You clean up. You say, I'm going to prophesy, but I'm not going to bother again. But God said, try this spirit. God said, prove all things. Are you there? Even though you're sure. I told a man of God this evening. I said, all when you're sure. One little drop. Forget it. You see this Bible? You know how this Bible can't miss? When they were uh, um, re re rewriting the scriptures from the original, hey, there was a middle letter. Now, look, look how many thousands. I forget how many thousands of, of words in the Bible are letters. Come on, you scholars, help me out. I forget. Millions of letters. Come on. But, Reverend, there is a middle letter. Come on. <laughs> So when they are inscribing it, when they read the middle letter, if it's always got to be O, you're not working, you're not working me. <laughs> so when they read the middle letter, the middle letter may be 10 million. Huh? But when they read the middle letter, if it's not O, guess what they do with it? Guess what they do with it? Well, so you don't know like to throw away old things? Guess what they, they throw away the whole thing. Come on. You reflect. Let this thing get better. Even though you're so spiritual. Even so God is using you. We're going to reflect. Look back at this thing. Throw out what should be thrown out. Strengthen what should be strengthened. Come on. Beat upon ourselves where we should beat upon ourselves. Come on somebody. Come on. Be married ourselves where we should be. Come on. Say amen. amen. We don't go back to them and say no we'll be married ourselves. Come on somebody. You could well do better. If you're still a little longer. Come on somebody. Somebody say reflect. Oh my God, you're always preaching about sacrifice. And then you give out all those excuses for not going. But come on, somebody. An appointment for my daughter. Huh? I can't go because it's an appointment. Come on, how many times you change your appointment? Tell the truth. But this time you can't change this one. <laughs> come on, somebody here. Yeah? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say God's requirement. For World Vision Day, World Vision Day ain't no play. Come on, somebody. Number one, come on, hit me. Number one, report. Number two, rejoice. Number three, reflect. Yes, reflect. Look in the mirror. Number four, once you have reflected, regret some things I did wrong. I shouldn't have gone to Asia, but there was no door in Asia. Mm, I shouldn't have gone here or I should have gone there you regret staying at home when you could have gone here you regret going to, to this town when you could have gone across the sea hallelujah don't feel good that you gave a good excuse and a, no 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 don't, don't do that regret you didn't go huh? many times when you heard what happened in Chile you feel bad I ought to go on like you don't feel bad. Come on. Feel bad and feel bad and do better next time. But don't behave like you don't feel bad. 
Don't behave like you got the per you totally be sure the perfect excuse. No, no, no. Feed about it. And next time, if you don't go to Chile, you'll go to Brazil. You need some folks to go there. You're saying amen right now. You need some folks to go to Brazil. My God, I'm getting some amen here. Hallelujah. And we need some folks to go to the east. Yes. Starting the 19th, we'll be in Philippines. I mean, God gives so much revelation about Philippines. The 19th of this month, we'll be in Philippines. And we'll, we'll, be, and we'll be in the east, Philippines and Singapore and Hong Kong and more countries until the 4th of August. But if you can do only two days, you do it and come back. Come on, I me somebody. If you can do five days or ten, and, and we need, glory to God, some folks, amen, to go. And you know what I hear the Lord saying? There was a scripture in the Bible in Esther 4 and verse 14 where, where, where Mordecai told Esther, hmm. listen, Esther, even though you are in the king's house, even though you think you are protected, even though you are the qualified one, even, even though you are the privileged one, listen to me. Hey, if you don't stand up oh, and do your job, God will send deliverance from another place. Come on, somebody here. My you ain't saying amen with me. Saying amen. Ah, the qualified ones are about to be replaced. Come on, somebody by another place are you there are you there so you've got to regret not stepping out but now we're in the extension amen the extension my god the extension is just ready to go and we are going to other states as well amen all the other states glory to god are open as well somebody said god's requirement or God's required response. Number four, reject. Five, reject. Number five, reject. As you step out in this move of God, this thing is powerful. This thing is dreadful. You're going to get offers. Come on, somebody. You got to reject them. One young lady went into a park and preached. A lot of preachers, a lot of pastors, and she preached in the park. And everybody was excited. Every pastor said, my God, how the Lord touch one using you. My God, we heard about the Harvest Army. We heard of what God is doing. But one little pastor said, could you be my member? <laughs> Come on, can you believe that? Can you believe that? One little pastor. You better off in my church. Could you be my member? Not preacher, you know. Not, not, not assistant pastor. A member. Jesus. Reject. But remember, it's bad out there. It's messed up. And that, when you open the mouth under the prophetic anointing, under the visionary anointing it's the normal somebody want to cut you off cut you from the root cut you from the connection cut you from the pipeline just to get you one time just to big up themselves one time then throw you away because you have to stay connected to carry that power and for that power to increase say amen someone said God's Required response to World Vision Day. Listen, you got to reject, get rid, and and some of you watch me now. Sorry, you meet upon these offers because you're in the wrong place. Come on, somebody. If you're across the sea, nobody could ask you to be in the church because you can't be in the church across the sea. <laughs> Come on, you don't like me. You don't like explanation, but because you're underground doing mighty work. Powerful work, but you're on land. Anybody can get you. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Because you're not land preacher. <laughs> Come on. So you get land trouble. Land alpha. You know what they're teaching. Come on, somebody here. Yeah. Some of you getting all them offers because you're land people. 
They're trying to make you land people. They want to land church. Come on, somebody. It's a good church still, you know, misunderstand me. But it does for land. The people you have been anointed and, and raised up for the world. Don't you see what's happening? You got some folks joining this move. Come on, somebody here. It's so amazing. When I see it's so amazing. Come on, somebody. All the way in the Philippines. Come on, somebody. They say yes. Half, they're not just they're not just they're not just saying world vision they they're saying harvest army and, and we can't stop them because we don't promote any any personal name so they have to connect to something are you there somebody so you can't kill that come on somebody and they're rising up and so we are part of the army of god oh, and we are ready to be used by god it's a truth. I wish I could preach to you. Hey man, I'm going five percent. Hey man, what God did with me right now? Because let me tell you something. This thing is about to shake the planet from the east to the west. To the a man can't preach it. Come on, somebody. Uh, from the east to the west to the north to the south, they can't stop it again. Somebody told me yesterday. Even if we drop it. In the harvest army, drop it. It's going to still go forward and excel. For everybody know, it's every season. The first Saturday of every quarter, it's already known. Come on, somebody. It's too late to drop it. It's too late to get discouraged. You ain't saying amen. It's too late to criticize. It's too late to attack. Come on. Uh, I got a church call us this week. Uh, I can't tell you about that. Uh, I can't tell you what they said. They said we are gonna uh, we are gonna send our report. If a church asks me which one, you're gonna shock. Come on, somebody. To hear which church. Uh, hallelujah. For it's world vision day. Hey, hey. So number one, hit me. So report number two, what? With Joyce. Number three, what? With it, number four, what? Number five, what? Reject. So number one, report. Two, rejoice. Three, reflect. Four, regret. Five, reject. Six, repeat. Hallelujah. Repeat it, yes. Hallelujah. Repeat it. Do it over and over again. Hallelujah. The extension is on. And God is moving mightily by his spirit. Can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Ah, I'm going to ask you to get ready to give unto the Lord mighty. Then we all... We're going to release a special anointing. Yes, we're going to release a, a special anointing. This thing is so, so powerful. I saw a woman in, in Atlanta this week. Hallelujah. This weekend here. Glory to God. Witnessing on the street. Amen. Amen. Sister Peter Gage, you were, you were in the service when that lady renounced. You were in the service. A lady in Atlanta, she bring the most people to the church. She bring the most people. She don't miss one day of the, of the revival. But she was bound in divination. Bound, bound, bound. She, she said, I want to be a member. Yes, I want to be a member. But she was bound. Glory to God. But on that night, she stood before her. Hallelujah, the crowd. And renounced. And renounced. Hallelujah. She hold her sister hand in the church and said, could you follow me up to the front? I want to renounce. And she came up and renounced. Then she was baptized. Amen. Hallelujah. And when she was baptized, it's a pool like this one where she, you can sit. When she was baptized, she sat up, not ready to come out, and continued to renounce. Hallelujah. On Saturday, I saw her in Atlanta. I could see her spirit. Hallelujah. You could see her spirit. Ooh, of freedom. Witnessing. Come on, somebody. Give God praise here. Give God praise here. I said, this, this thing is powerful. This thing is mighty. 
This thing is beyond man. This thing on a rock the earth. Ah, sit down. Hold it. God said, in the way back down, you're going to raise up another place. He's going to raise up the unexpected. He's going to raise up the unqualified. Glory to God. He's going to raise up the unselected. The untrained. Come on, somebody. He's going to raise up. And God said, if I can't get nobody, I'm going to raise up the unqualified. Ah, we have a Come on, somebody was raised up by God because hallelujah, Christ had to come. Hallelujah. <laughs> and there came a gap. Glory to God. Where nobody could fit. Oh, glory to God. But Rahab was available. Glory to God. To hide the prophet of God. To hide the spies of God. Glory to God and protect glory to God. So Rahab, hallelujah, became glory to God an ancestor of Jesus Christ. Ooh. Did I lose you? Did I lose somebody? Did I lose? That's all this thing is sure. That's why no matter how glory to God, I'm high. I want to mess up the stage. No matter how they promote the homosexual agenda, don't worry yourself. Don't fret. Come on, somebody. Stand against it, but don't fret. For Jesus says, when I come, I'm going to find the church. Come on. It means you didn't turn home. My God. Bishop, change the subject. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Don't worry yourself. Jesus said, when I come, church going to be here. Come on. It means what they did didn't work. <laughs> come on. Some all the new law, everybody, everybody didn't turn home. Oh. You know, come on, come on. You're not working with me. For, for God got to the end before he start. <laughs> come on here and say amen. He end the church before he start. <laughs> come on. So don't worry yourself. You will never turn home. Oh. Come on. They could chill the laws. Come on. Chill the chemical. Put it in the water. Come on. Put it in. Put it in the toothpaste. Come on, somebody. They could die. Oh God. You will never turn over. For Jesus says, I am coming. Hallelujah. For the church. Come on, somebody. Ah, the trump of God shall sound. You can help me here. And the dead in Christ shall rise. Hear me now, hear me now, hear me now. Hear me now. And he but is alive and remain. Somebody shall remain. I can't hear you remain. I can't hear you remain. So remain. Sit down. So we can't stop World Vision Day. God will raise up Rehab. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus said that they be the supper. When they be the supper. Come on, somebody. Some say, I just got married. Come on. Every extra minute they got to give me five hundred dollar more come on somebody good <laughs> remain my god of mercy add number seven come my god my god of mercy repeat and remain remain in god remain holy come on your woman you remain feminine your man you remain masculine i'm getting trouble here buddy. Yeah, bah, 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 sah, bah, bah. Ah! We're not just preaching, we know our agenda. <laughs> Come on, somebody here. Ah! 
Come on, somebody. We're not just full of fire. Come on, somebody. We know our agenda. My God. Is your fault? I said so long now. You said it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God ended before he started. So you don't have to worry. Hallelujah. 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 So he made the supper. Is you distract me? <laughs> he made the supper. Glory to God. He says, ah, the supper is for the qualified. The supper is for those who have a great story, who have a mighty testimony, those who have privilege, those who've been on TV already, those who write a book already. I'm rough. Come on, somebody. Ah! Everybody know about you already. Come on, somebody. You got it all to tell. You're getting known already. Uh, so he called them. He called the mighty ones. I can't help somebody here. I said, come and eat. But I got to send you out with your belly full. And all the mighty ones with all the investment in them have all kind of excuse. Come on, somebody. I just married a wife. Come on, I just bought land. Come on, only in the Old Testament, God says in 2 Chronicles 20, if you just married and you're, you're kept from war. But when you go to the New Testament, he says if you're married, it's like you're not. You don't know, want to teach it here. You don't want to teach it here. Come on, somebody. I lose here. Bishop going off here. Glory to God. Glory to God. And those who were qualified, those who had this stuff, those who had the recognition, those who had the name, could not come to the supper. Come on, somebody. And Jesus said, go check another set, not as important as those. Hey, and they gave the excuse. Hey, and Jesus said, this thing finished already, so anybody can fit. Come on, somebody. He said, go in the highways. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And the hedges. Come on, somebody. And bid them to come. Say amen. That my house may be filled. Come on, somebody. And that's why when Jesus needed to be anointed, he could not find Peter to anoint him. <laughs> he could not find James to anoint him. You ain't saying amen. I lost her right there. Come on, somebody. But a little woman, she was a prostitute. Her name was Mary Magdalene. Come on, somebody. But she looked and there was a gap. Jesus needed to be anointed. The assistant pastor didn't see it. And she took the alabaster. Come on, somebody, and anoint him because he had to be anointed. He was anointed before he came. God finished before. Mm. So if he can't find the assistant pastor, he will use the nobody. He will use the... Oh, come on, somebody. I know you're not getting me. This thing which God has released upon the earth is already finished before God gave us the revelation. Come on, somebody. Be careful how you handle it. Make sure, glory to God, that you're in the middle of it because it will shake the planet. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Some of the world. Vision. Day. Wow. Then they'll be going to Swaziland. Amen. We thank God for others who are in, in, in Georgia. Deacons and brothers and sisters are in Georgia. Amen. And, and, and some are going to Jamaica. And all over, it's spread all over. God, 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 God is just moving. And we just want to thank God for them. And pray God blessing as they continue in this extension. Because it's only gotten started. Amen. And the extension goes until the 19th. That's when we start in, 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 in uh, Manila, Philippines. And do a few days. Then we go to Singapore. We go to Hong Kong and on and on. So let the Lord have his way. Say amen. amen. Before we leave, you know what we want to do? The Lord is, is just so powerfully showing, the, showing this. God says, 
I need some nobodies. I really mean some nobodies. I really mean some nobodies. Yet, yet have much to show. Or you have to show, but you don't intend to show. But you just want to be used by God in this move of God. I don't mean some loose, unknown something. I mean you want to be used by God. No! I hear God said deliverance from another place. That was Esther. It means the place is not just a geographical place, but a person or a group of persons. Are you there? And today before we leave, I don't care. I don't care on how unqualified you feel. If you want to be used by God now, I mean now. I mean like, like now. I mean like in the 30, next 30 days, I want to pray with you. Because it is going to happen. That anointing is so strong. I'm telling you. That anointing is so... I don't have to come. It's just those who feel that way. You know, I remember when I felt unqualified in the audience too. And they did not see it. I'm always concerned about that, man of God. I'm always concerned about missing that one person who don't talk much. They don't say nothing. They're just quiet. They sit in the back. They don't say nothing. I'm always burdened. I don't want to miss that one. It's not like I'm, I'm just a great leader when I say that, you know? But I can't afford to miss that one. Come on, that one might be the next Paul. Hallelujah. And sometime we give all the investment in the ones who appear to be in the front. But sometimes they take all the investment and tie their feet and cause all of that investment to can't move. It's there, but it can't move. That's just as bad, that's just a waste. All of that in you, all of it, with a stronghold, tie your feet. You know, carefully you become a gifted loser. Did you hear? They always watch for that. They always watch for that. I'm very concerned about that. So God, you're not ready to raise up anybody. That's what God do it. Anybody. Is there anybody I'm talking about? Now? Is there nobody? If you're somebody, please go back to your seat. Is there nobody I'm talking about? Now? Come on. And, and, and the nobodies are the ones they don't regard your somebodyness. <laughs> You may be a, you may have a king. You may be Abigail, huh? Well, hey man, what what, what is guy? Hey man, Abigail husband. I forget his name. Didn't see that he has a queen wife. Thank God of mercy here. You just think that she was there to do the domestic part. Ha! Ah! She was a queen wife. Well, you didn't see it. That's what I'm talking about. Your husband think you, you, you will never preach. Glory to God. I went to Africa 19 years ago. I'm going to pray right now. 19 years ago, I went to Ghana. The same country where my wife just went. Hmm. The day I was about to leave, a little lady came and gave me a, and gave me a, a letter. When I look in the letter, please, my daddy died. Could it be my daddy? Come on, I hear me, somebody. The little lady. I said, what up? I said, she's so brave. She picked me up. She come to give him a letter. <laughs> I read it. Could it be my daddy? I inquired of those who knew her. Say it's okay to be your daddy. She's the pastor, wife of the church, Pastor Colin just being there. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said a while ago? That's the way you cheer. She was an absolute nobody. But a preacher came to Africa, was departed. I can't let him leave. We don't have a connection. Can you be my daddy? She didn't say, I am this, or my, or, or my family is this, or I finished uh, a college. Or, she didn't say nothing. Can you just be my daddy? Oh, my and I ask the people around, I say, yes, she's the pastor wife of the church they just been. How could that happen? I did not make her the pastor. I only heard about the church. Come on, somebody. It didn't come on uh, it, it, it did not become a harvest army till after it start and it's going on already. I did not make how comes? How comes? How comes? How comes? It's a hand of God upon a nobody. And she found the right connection. You don't have to be a somebody. 
You just want the right connection. Come on, somebody here. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, let's pray right now. Come on. Pray to nobody prayer. Like God. Ghana. Right now? Right. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray right now. Come on. Send the letter. Send the letter. Send the letter to the Lord. Say, Lord. Come on. Say, Lord. I want to trouble the oceans, Lord. Jesus, I don't even I don't even have my papers, Jesus. But I want to trouble the ocean, Jesus. Talk to him. Jesus, will you be my daddy? Will you be my traveling daddy? Will you be my airplane? Will you be my document? Look, yes, Jesus. 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 Go ahead. I'm telling you. Uh, I don't care who you think you are. Uh, uh, God will answer that. Somebody should come and you didn't come. Don't be afraid you can't come. Jesus. Yeah, he's going to be your daddy today. He's going to be your daddy. You go, you go travel the world. Fire power. I go back at a ropo kota papa sata. Hey, hey, I'm just a nobody. Yeah, 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 trying to tell everybody about somebody. Who can say, yeah, the money, receive it. She baba satara papa kata. It is done. Ha! Shiba, lift your head, reach up.